welcome back to the show, everyone. We are playing Final Fantasy VI. In the last episode, we got Strago and Realm. And now that we have... Oh, oh, I have to talk first. Right. So we have Strago. Now, I meant to show you something before the end of the world. I It slipped my mind, so I wasn't able to show you. But if you have Strago in your party, and you come into Thamasa, you find this dude in pink named Gung Ho... And you find out that he and Strago were monster hunters back in the day. So... It's only been a year since the world changed, but it feels like forever. Okay. Now, I have to find Gung Ho in here, and I cannot remember exactly where he is. So this is gonna take me a minute. But he is in here somewhere. We're gonna find him and we're gonna steal his lunch money. Uh, where are you, you sob? Oh, look at this. They still haven't rebuilt the house from years ago. Granted, apparently nobody has building materials anywhere, so. That's a good point. Uh, look at those I... dry ass turnips. Gee, Jesus, the vegetation's shitty. Did I miss a requirement? May have missed a requirement. Maybe both Realm and Strago have to be in the party for it to be triggered. Alright, I'm gonna change party members real quick. Alright, we've got Shadow back in the par- or er, Realm back in the party for just a second. I think this will trigger it. Yep, there we go. Yeah, we're back! It's like old times. Yeah. Time to relax. Home sweet home. Grandpa! This is terrible! Gung Ho's hurt! Yeah! Gung Ho? Gung Ho, wake up! Who did this to you? It was Hayden. Hayden. The beast you and I used to hunt. I almost had it. You took on Hayden? Uh, <laughs> Gung Ho! Strago, please, you must avenge me. Ugh. Gramps, why are you hesitating? Well... I spent my youth chasing that creature. To do it again at this age is more than I bargained for. Gung Ho, rest easy. I'll do it for you. Grandpa! Just a minute. You don't think you're going alone, do you? I spent too many years of my life hunting that thing. It is my obsession, not yours. But Grandpa, this obsession of yours could easily, could easily slay you, and I'm still a dependent. <laughs> I can't just sit idly by and watch you go. You don't want me to enter the foster system, do you? It's very corrupt. Haven't you heard what's going on in the country lately? <sighs> Sorry, Rome, you're right. I couldn't die with that on my conscience. You have to make your own mistakes in life. Getting knocked up at 16 probably by Edgar. I'm grateful that you care. But as its name implies, the Hyden is extremely difficult to find. Unless I go alone, it will not show itself. Next stop, Ebit's Rock. Phew. Okay. So that spiel of Strago's was actual bullshit, um, which is really amusing to me because in one of the official strategy guides, I even want to say it's the official strategy guide. It could be the one I have in my bookshelf. Uh, the text reads, Hayden will not appear if both Rome and Strago are in your party. And the accompanying screenshot shows both Strago and Rome in the party engaging Hayden. So what the fuck? <laughs> Guy dang it. So, it's taken a while, but 
of, of research, but from what I've gathered, Haydn will appear as long as Strago is in the party. It doesn't matter who else is there. All right, now the cave is open, yes. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to take on Haydn, who has a very powerful, has the most powerful lore, or blue magic. Um, oh, God, this bullshit. I'm hungry, 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 hungry. Feed me! Otherwise, I won't let you buy. I like to eat coral. I don't have any coral. Fuck. Alright, so... You have to run through this dungeon. This whole thing's kind of annoying. But you have to run through this dungeon. And you have to, uh... Oh, that's just... Is it me, or badly. does Displayer look like a the name of a really stupid starting character in the early stages of an RPG. I'm Displayer. I was trying to figure out where you were going with that. Um, choke smoke. I don't know what the hell that was supposed to do. Um, okay, this is not working out. If there's me. anybody out there with the screen name Displayer and you're actually really good, I... Apologize somewhat, but seriously, disc player, you can do better. <laughs> Alright, so we need to unequip the striker because it's an instant kill, which all that's doing is healing everybody, and I think the hardened it does as well? No, the hardened does not. Alright, so you get the hardened and the man eater. Okay. So that treasure chest isn't lying. You have to run around here and I believe get. 12 pieces of coral. There's five already, so we're doing okay. I mean, these switches are nonsensical, I think. Or maybe they do have some... I don't freaking remember. I don't remember. I don't really care. I do know this dungeon's a pain in the ass. But whatever. We have a good team. And even if... Like, basically, once we get... Once we feed that stupid treasure chest coral, and then he gets out of our way... Haydn should appear right behind him if Haydn is there. Um, if he's just straight not there, then it means we're going to have to leave and put Rome in the party or something. But there were a lot of bizarre rumors when it came to this uh, dungeon, especially with that cryptic hint about, you know, if Strago doesn't go alone, he won't appear, that some people interpreted that literally. Like, Strago, if he does not go... If Strago goes... With even a single other party member, he will not appear. But that's not true. And back when the game came out, there was no internet where you could crowdsource this and solve problems. So what would happen is one person would be like, Yeah, I did it, but I, but I didn't have Realm, so you can't have Realm in your party. But that can't be verified. There's a safe point in here? I didn't know there was a safe point in here. Um, so... Oh, pfft. Yeah, the buttons are random. That's the other thing that pisses me off. That's why it's so annoying. Like, when you're touching the buttons to warp to different sections, you don't know. Jesus, Interceptor. Um, you don't know where you're going, and it's really annoying. <laughs> Drive-by Doggy Dash, that's what we call that. Drive-by Doggy Dash? Wow, Shadow's actually being a little ineffective. I should have brought Realm or Celeste. Or even Gal. Maybe Gal would have been a better choice, because at least I would have had the magic ability then. See, these guys are pretty strong. I mean, they're not overly strong, but... <laughs> we could have the team of Strategal. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for that. That's three in a row! Come on! What the... Okay, so we've got five pieces of coral. I think it's twelve. I think we need twelve. But unlike the stupid fish sequence, fish sequence, it actually is additive. So we can just run around here and keep getting um, coral until we have all 12 pieces. Ah, oh, Interceptor missed. Oh. And I'm not using my attacks properly. I'm not thinking clearly. Also, Strago's pretty neutered right now. Since, I mean, he, he doesn't have much physical ability. But he doesn't have much offense right now, so he's sort of, eh. He's kind of useless. 
But I've equipped him with the Esper that he'll learn the twos, if nothing else, and the twos will at least do some damage, as Terra demonstrates. But of course, Terra's OP at the moment, since she's holding a bunch of items that will just increase her abilities. Alright. That's six. Uh, Ralts, use Flash. Excellent. That's 11. So we should only need one more. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. That's another reason why this dungeon's so annoying. It makes me think of Duford Cave and Ruby and Sapphire. Friggin'. If you don't fight Brawly first, you can't use Flash, and then you can only see, like, two spaces in front, in front of you. Right, which Ridiculous. Pokemon was that? Ruby and Sapphire. Uh. The one that's coming out in November, hells yeah! Yeah, I can't wait. I skipped Generation 3, and I started playing Emerald on an emulator. Um, but, eh, I mean, it's just not the same. And without the ability to trade around, Pokemon kind of loses a little bit yeah. of its spark to me. Whoa! Okay, that move is called Pearl in this game. It's actually Holy, because, you know, Holy has been a part of the Final Fantasy franchise for a long time. But again, Holy is a religious reference, and we can't have that in North America in the mid-90s on a Nintendo system. So, <laughs> the Akamura just did an eye roll so hard she had to tip her whole head back. So, yes, that is, uh, that's what's happening here. You all right there? Yeah, I just had to crack my neck a bit. Starlet. Oh, cure three. Beautiful. Um, all right, let's make sure everyone is not wasting their magic. Okay, yeah, so that's um. useful. And then him, I'm not worrying about. Okay, good deal. All right, so like I said, we have 11... Oops. We have 11 pieces of coral. Wait, what did I set to two? Oh, the message speed. Okay. I'm really excited to see what they do with... What is it? There's Omega, 12. Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. I'll probably got those mixed up, but like. Okay. I like to eat coral. Have any? Yes. Munch. 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 That was great. Bring me some more. I'm not happy unless I have plenty to what eat. What the fuck? How many more do you need? <sighs> okay, not 12 then. Maybe it's 21. So there's. Let's see, that would be 13. God. Uh, 18. Well, he's here. We may as well give it to him. Munch. 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 Merp. That was great. Bring me some more. <laughs> That's an adorable voice for that annoying son of a bitch. Hey, look, it's Slatter. Slatterverse. Slatterverse. But um, I'm excited to see what they do with the games because like Gen 3 was when they started doing some serious overhauls. Like they added the running shoes. They fixed the PC Wait, system. Wait, the running shoes were not part of the game prior to that? I don't think so. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm that sure someone suck. will suck. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Well sorry, I thought they had their running shoes in red and blue and silver and whatever, but Maybe not. I don't think they had them in red and blue. The originals now. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, for the love of God, let's get back to the stupid treasure chest. I want to see if they bring back item storage, too. It was kind of a useless... You're not going to pick up the... No, we already picked up another 12 pieces. We've got enough at this point, I'm okay. sure. We just need to find the stupid freaking... Chest. Yeah. But, um... Such a dick. If it wasn't random, this would be a lot more tolerable. But instead, every time you hit a switch, you don't know which room you're going to. Like earlier, when I went to the save point room three goddamn times in a row. <sighs> I'm not overly angry about it, though. Like, like the fish sequence pisses me off. But this dungeon isn't overly horrible because it's just, it's just wasting my time. But it's short. See, there he is. I mean, uh, there's not much bitching I can munch, do here. Munch. Munch. Merp. That was great. 
Bring me some more. What the f I'm not happy unless I have plenty to eat. Dude! How many bloody pieces do you need? All of them. <sighs> Bring me the coral. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Don't make me come down there. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna keep working on this. Anyway, what were you talking about? Um, item storage was a thing. Like, you could store items in your PC. Oh, yeah. Well, you could in the first at least red-blue because the game didn't have enough RAM to deal with having an infinite bag like nowadays. Yeah. Um... I don't think there's an infinite bag nowadays either. I think you're stuck at like 999 or something. Well, no, but in the original two, you could only have like 20 different items. Oh, right. So if you had like potions and high potions and ethers, then, you know, you might run out of room for Pokeballs or vice versa. They had that problem in Gen 3 too, I think. Like, you could only hold so many different items. I think they increased the number. But, like, everything else you had to, like, store. I have a feeling they wouldn't do that again for the remake, because they that would annoy the shit out of people. Not. But, like, being able to store items in your PC would be great, because, like, you could stick them in there and forget about them. Oh, I see. That's true. Well, I mean... Yeah, I, like, I suppose. But, I mean, you can still just sell the items, too. Yeah, but then you, you want can them out of the way. stick... I mean, if they have a use later, you can stick them in there, like, once in a blue moon, you can pull them out whenever you need them. I see. Like, I have God knows how many, like, tight boost items that I never use. Yeah, I suppose I wouldn't necessarily mind storing a Master Ball so I didn't accidentally use it on a Rotata oh, or something. Oh, yes. Because I have done that before. I did once accidentally use a Master Ball on some useless piece of garbage. Luckily, I had saved right before then, so I didn't lose that much progress. A story went around Tumblr that someone was going to catch a Magikarp with a Master Ball and name it Regret. <laughs> someone else found the post and posted that they got a Magikarp named Regret and a Master Ball from Wonder Trade. Lovely. Oh, that's, a, that's awesome. <laughs> The Pokemon fandom, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that <laughs> Doing that would kind of bother me since I never play Pokemon games twice. But, like, in the abstract, it's really funny. I don't know. I always have to... Like, if, if Pokemon had multiple save files, I would probably play it twice. Oh, yeah. But since it's only one and it already takes, like, 60 to 80 hours to get anything accomplished, I never, uh... I never play it yeah. twice. For me, I, like, can't erase my save unless I need to do something important. Right. Munch. 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 Merp. That was great. Bring me some more. For the love of God, dude! How many frickin... Oh, God. I might have to time skip this one because we're so close to the end that I don't want to... If, if you don't feed me, I'll get angry. <laughs> I'm going to time skip this. You guys have the point by now. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll come back. This will actually never mind. Nope, never mind. We're too close. I wouldn't be able to be hiding in five minutes. So fuck it. We'll, we'll just if, play if, this. If, to if the you end. don't hurry up and bring me all the coral I want, I'll kill you. <laughs> it really wouldn't surprise me. I, I, I can hold you here forever. Because... I mean, that would that would annoy gamers if, like, you know, say you don't, you have too many people in the party or whatever, and Stray goes hanging around. Like, it would suck if you went through all that, and the box is what stops you from finding Haydn. But if memory serves, um, like I said, like Haydn has his own little room, and if you don't have Strago in the party, but you get to the little room, Haydn is simply not there. Like, he's just gone. And then you have no choice but to leave. Something like that. We're gonna keep looking for goddamn Haydn in the next episode. Oh, that was serendipitous. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, hey, old person. Yes? Bring me some coral. <sighs> don't make me come down there. I'll find you. I'll eat you. I'll eat you in front of your goddamn granddaughter. Don't test me. 
That's going to cause Kalo some nightmares. <laughs>